<laughs> I did that last joke. I was at a casino. This woman in the front row, pissed off, foaming at the mouth, heard screaming at me. She's like, marijuana is evil. It's the reason we have so many problems in our country. I was like, yeah, whatever, lady, drink up and let's go gamble. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a pot smoking section in the back of the room? <laughs> You're smoking cigarettes. She's like, excuse me, son. There's a big difference between smoking tobacco and smoking marijuana. <laughs> now I thought about that for a minute. She actually wins that argument. Because let's face it, you could, you could die for smoking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> you smoke so much weed, you wake up in an empty fridge? I don't get it. What? <laughs> That's not the reason we have problems in our country. It's <laughs> the reason Taco Bell and Wendy's are open late. <laughs> wasting too much time on this as a nation, right? Billions of our tax dollars every year spent on the marijuana war alone. Forget the rest of the drugs, billions on weed. And this money could be going to pay the military a better wage, teachers, firemen, provide health care, medicinal prostitution, you know, important. <laughs> <laughs> Worried about Joe Stoner because he might roll up a doobie, watch Scooby Doo order Pizza Hut, and then pass out on the go. I don't think we're using pot to its full potential in this country. I think, I have a plan. I think we could strategically use marijuana in our warfare and never lose another soldier in battle again. And I know that's a bold statement, so just go with me on this. I'm going to use Iraq as an example. Uh, what do we know about the Iraqi people before we got there? They were hungry, they were pissed off, they were oppressed. Okay. How could we, as a nation, have accommodated their situation and brought all of our troops home safe through the use of something like marijuana, cannabis, pot? Anyone? You can make brownies. <laughs> Cookies. Cakes. Anytime some third world nation starts acting up, just bake a bunch of goodies. <laughs> Airlift the food in, wait two and a half hours, and then send the troops. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, the Iraqi people would have been sitting on their asses going, Hey, it's the Americans! What's up? <laughs> hey, Saddam is right down there. <laughs> Go get this bitch ass. <laughs> Wait, did you bring more cookies? <laughs> I mean, seriously, how bad would the headlines be the next day if we did that as a country? You know? Weapons of mass digestion, huge success. <laughs> I rack trace oil for the Keebler Elves. <laughs> <laughs> my, big, my big beef with the drug war is that uh, I don't like being lied to. You know? And uh, our government puts marijuana in the same bracket as heroin and cocaine. We're adults, well, that's not true. Just, you know, how do you expect children to take their parents seriously about the harm of drugs when you're right out of the gate with that blatant lie, right? Just don't fart in my bat and tell me it's a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell 